everyone, this video is going to be all about the dancing that I got up to in June. This month's been quite a nostalgic month for me dance wise. I danced as a kid, I did the RID syllabus and did all the grades through to grade 8 and 6, 7 and 8 are still the same syllabus now that it was 15 odd years ago and I did them. As it's hot and my dance teacher's bugged up her ankle recently, she thought we'll stop with all the Grand Allegros and the giant jumps and the leaping about that we usually tend to do and we'll take it a bit slower and do some do some adage work. So we did grade 6, 7 and 8 adage and they're absolutely beautiful dances. I never really enjoyed them when I was younger. It feels very calm and balletic and I just remember doing them the first time round and there's, sort of, there's something in the back of my brain that still still remembers all the music, remembers some of the steps. Um, so that's good fun. A few months ago I also started doing a grade 6 class and I took my grade 6 exam, I think it was 2004. So again I've got a vague recollection in my head and I'm really 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 enjoying those classes, they're a lot of fun. They are with teenagers so I do get a little bit annoyed with them sometimes but honestly the dance is more the makeup for it. For the grade 6 syllabus there's bar work, there's some centre work exercises and there's some character exercises and then the main chunk of your marks in the exam come from a dance. There are three set dances to choose from all in a different style. Um, classical, free movement or character work. And when I did my exam I did the free movement dance so I never never learnt the other two. My teacher just said right this one's going to suit you best, do this one. So this time round I've now learnt the classical dance and I really enjoyed it. I thought wow I quite like this. I definitely wouldn't have liked it as a teenager. It wasn't my sort of style. I don't think I would have technically been able to do the dance as well as I did the dance that I did perform. And I thought, wow, I really enjoy this. I might like this more than the dance that I did. And then we went ahead and learnt the free movement dance I had done. And it was just in my body. Like my teacher played the music and I just I just knew what I was doing. It was I was like, yeah, this is this is my dance. So a lot of a lot, lot of good memories coming out of that. And it's nice to see how different my dancing is now as well. I wouldn't say I was any better or worse, it's just I now have some strength now that I didn't have back then and there's other things that I'm weaker at now just from being older and less flexible and having less energy. I'm still taking contemporary dance and I'm enjoying that too. At the moment however my teacher's got this thing for floor work so we are rolling on the floor quite a bit, we're learning how to do shoulder rolls and my back is not best pleased with me. Last week I was just absolutely covered in bruises. Each individual vertebrae had a, it was a, quite a small bruise but all the way down I had a different purple mark down my back. I bruised my elbow, I bruised my knees, I've got bruises on the top of my feet. I just sort of came home and the next couple of days I just, everything hurt. If you put any pressure anywhere on my skin I was like yep. Yeah got a bruise there and I don't think the problem's actually doing the sho it, doing shoulder rolls it's me chucking myself on the floor thinking oh crap I don't have time to do this properly I'm just gonna lob myself and hope I end up the right way up at the end of it. I'm also taking modern dance classes I've only been doing this a couple of months now and I'm enjoying it but it's just reminding me how inflexible I am. Everybody think thinks of ballerinas and think they have to be super flexible but there really isn't anything in ballet that I can't do due to my lack of flexibility where there are several things in modern where I am physically incapable of doing the exercise correctly. So that, that's quite frustrating. Along with all the dancing that I've been doing I've also been doing a bit of shopping. I've had to buy myself some new ballet shoes because my current ones are hideous. This is my current shoe. It's getting holes in the bottom here. It's falling apart on the inside. It's black on the inside, especially down by the toes. And it stinks. So I have bought an accidentally identical pair of shoes. Look how clean they are. And on the back as well, it shows the difference. The other thing I bought this month was a book recommended to me by my dance teacher. It's called The Pirouette Surgery by Rossini, Rosina Andrews. I think my teacher went to a workshop run by the author 
and my teacher's always trying to improve my turns. I started out with absolutely horrific turns and they're now just to quite poor turns. So I have, I have improved a lot but there's still a long way to go before they're considered good. I haven't finished reading it yet and honestly it's quite expensive for how thin the book is. I think it's about 200 pages long but hey I'd pay that much money to have better turns so if I actually read it and implement some of the suggestions in there turns will improve even more and maybe one day I'll even be able to spot properly. Looking into the future I've got a couple of exciting things planned. At the end of next month I have an audition for a full-length ballet production. Uh, I did one last year with one of the dance schools that I dance with. They're doing another show next year as well so I'll be going along to the audition. I haven't decided if I actually want to do the show but just because the rehearsals last year really did take take it out of me. It was quite a big time sink and I was ill quite a lot of the time as well, which didn't help. But I'll see how it goes this time round, see how I do in the audition, see whether it's something I want to take part in, but it's an afternoon of dancing, so why not? Another thing I've got to look forward to is possibly doing a grade four ballet exam. I did about up to grade eight when I was a kid, but one of the ballet classes that I do at the moment originally was a beginners class but they've been doing ballet for two years now so they're now a level two class and we've been working on mixture of dances from grades four five and intermediate foundation and my teacher is now willing if anybody wants to to work towards their grade four exam which I think will be quite nice it's nice to work towards something concrete and it'd also be nice to get feedback from somebody else and starting at such a low grade um, compared to what I've done before is quite re um, compared to what I've done before is quite reassuring and it really pushed me to want to go for a distinction because I've never had a distinction in the ballet exam before. If you can pass the higher grades then surely you can pass this that's just assumed so I've got to work hard um, to try and get the higher marks that I want. quite looking forward to that because as a kid that was what ballet was about you worked towards exams and then you did the exams and then you started a new grade and started all over again. I've discovered I'm absolutely dreadful at vlogging. I either forget to vlog and end up sitting in the dark in my car talking to myself or I just feel too awkward to get the camera out and start talking. So I think I might try doing these monthly updates where I just talk about what I've been doing. That's it for June. I've been keeping myself quite busy and I hope the rest of the summer goes just as well.